testing, testing, and more bloody testing. So, lots and lots of issues seen on cars today where the absolute cowboy before you sat there with his 15 pound 10U power probe, drummed it into the front of a connector block, opened up all the terminals, just to find there was 12 volts there, but now the sensor ain't got 12 volts because he's rammed that pin that bloody far apart. It's fucking not happening. So, this is the kind of kit we're gonna use to do actual wiring testing without damaging the wiring on the car. This is simply a set of breakout leads uh, from Pico, I believe. There's a logo somewhere, yeah, Pico technology. And what you've got on each one of these is literally the male and the female version of the connector. Now, these can be little spades, little probes, or even bullet connectors such as that one or this one that I can't actually get out of the pack because it's held in my super loop. Now, as you can see, guys, you get a male and female on both. So you can, if you just wanted to pin into the loom, you can pin into the loom there, and you've got the female there to pin into the sensor, and obviously your multimeter connection at this end. These are a great way to test in situ without back probing and without risking damaging any wires or pins. Do always make sure that you're lining up the right size pins. You don't want to be forcing bigger pins into smaller connector blocks because that's the same as the animals that are doing it with the power probe. And it makes my job a lot bloody harder afterwards. Stay safe.